Iran has been using surveillance and combat drones for roughly 35 years, starting with Ababal and Mohajer combat and surveillance drones deployed in the mid-1980s during the Iran-Iraq War. A drone unit was even the subject of a 1990s era war movie Mohajer. Modernized iterations of the Ababal and Mohajer followed in the 1990s and 2000s. In the early 2010s, Iranian companies began introducing a diverse spectrum of new designs. All or most of Iran's modern drones, even those with the range to fly many hundreds of miles, still lack satellite communication links allowing for remote control over distances greater than 100 to 200 miles. However, many areas of interest for Iran either lie within or just across its borders and coastline or in places where there are allies happy to receive or host Iranian weapons. These allies consist of Hezbollah in Lebanon, Houthis rebels in Yemen, Shia militias in Iraq and the Syrian government under Bashar al-Assad. It's notable that crashed Iranian drones or their components have been recovered in Afghanistan, Bahrain, Iraq, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, the United Arab Emirates, and Yemen. Iran's drones most prominently serve with the air, sea and ground branches of the Expeditionary Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, but are being introduced into the regular Iranian military too. It's important to note that most military drones are employed for surveillance and reconnaissance missions, which could include locating targets for and observing the results of ballistic missile attacks or as practice targets for air defense units. Even combat drones usually engage in far more reconnaissance than strike missions. Keeping track of Iranian drone projects is complicated by Tehran's tendency to circulate fabricated, exaggerated or inconsistent propaganda about its weapons. Numerous Iranian companies are developing and manufacturing drones, though these draw to a degree on off-the-shelf drone components, especially engines, acquired from China or Europe via international middlemen and shell companies. In fact, the sheer number of different types in development or production may indicate reflect inefficiency due to competing industrial and bureaucratic interests. Iran has also recovered many crashed U.S. drones including Boeing Scan Eagles, RQ-170 surveillance drones, and Predator and Reaper combat drones, and developed domestic designs clearly modeled after them, namely the Yasser, Sega 2, Shad 129 and Cayman 122. However, the older twin tail Ababal 2T variant has achieved greater notoriety due to Tehran's transfer of the drones to armed groups in the Middle East. Hezbollah received at least 8 to 12 Ababal 2Ts, which were redesignated the Mursid ones, and fitted with up to 110 pounds of explosives. Several overflew Israeli airspace in a 2006 war with Israel, and at least two were shot down by IDF F-16s. Hezbollah claims to have retired the Mursids in 2018. Hamas Shebab kamikaze drones used in the May 2021 Gaza war also appear to be derived from, but not identical to, the Ababal. The Houthi drones, which still bear Iranian serial numbers, are designated the Kasif-1 and Kasif-2K, with conventional and air-bursting warheads respectively. The Houthis employ Kasifs to target phased array radars of Saudi Patriot air defense systems to improve the penetration chances of their ballistic missile attacks. Furthermore, an attack by a Kasif drone in 2019 killed a Yemeni intelligence chief at Al Anad Air Base in 2019. In 2018 Houthi rebels began fielding the more capable Samad drone. While the Samad-1 has a surveillance role, the Samad-2, 
or UAVX, Recon Kamikaze drone can carry a 40-pound warhead, and the SAMAD-3 allegedly has an extended attack range of 932 miles. While the SAMAD doesn't correspond to a known Iranian drone, it uses several Iranian drone components, as well as German motors acquired by Iran via the Greek company. SAMAD 3s were used in an attack on a Saudi oil processing facility in 2019 that cut that country's oil production by half for two days. They were also reportedly in two strikes on Dubai International Airport. Saudi F-15 and F-16 jets have shot down many CASIF drones and SAMAD drones with Sidewinder missiles, as you can see in this remarkable footage. Iran has also developed a container-launched anti-radar drone that can be carried atop a small car and allegedly attack targets at long distances, more than 900 miles. This type of loitering munition could prove difficult to detect prior to launch and might be reasonably accurate by relying on integrated artificial intelligence to home in on the emissions of active ground or sea-based air defense radars. To what extent the Arash's control artificial intelligence scheme is more flexible than that of a radar homing cruise missile is unclear, however, 